Welcome back, everyone. We're continuing to highlight events in our community for Black History Month, including a new play, My General Tubman. And the play showcases the legacy of Harriet Tubman. And we are joined now by award-winning Philadelphia actress Danielle Lene, who stars as Harriet in the production. So exciting to have you Thank here, you Danielle. Thank you so much for having me. Great to have you. And we have just heard so much about this play. What's it been like for you, this whole process of playing Harriet Tubman? Um, it's been an amazing experience. I think uh, specifically for me, just being able to journey and learn so much about this iconic woman um, and work with Lorreen Carey, our playwright on this new play, and our cast and our director, James Imes, and, and our dramaturg, Michelle Valansky. It's just been a, a, a great collaboration to bring to stage what we have today. Speaking of playwright Lorene, um, she makes some connections between Harriet's time and modern times and in the incarceration system in the yeah. United States. Yeah, so our play takes place in the past and also in the present. And you get to see uh, some some characters from present day who are enslaved, um, not enslaved, mm -hmm. but they are uh, in incarcerated and they are all met, have experiences or interactions with Harriet Tubman. Oh. And we find that Harriet Tubman is on this journey looking for men to fight slavery. Um, and we kind of use this time travel element uh, of, of Harriet Tubman, who has is historically known for having epileptic seizures. Mm -hmm. yes. And so we use that as a theatrical device to kind of allow her to travel into Transition this present in time. day. Hmm. Yeah. And it sounds like such a complex character. What do you draw from as inspiration to yeah. portray her? I mean, well, I learned so much. I, I read so many stories about Harriet Tubman just preparing for this. Um, but also, I started to think about uh, like tapping into her spirit and her essence of this, this beautiful, iconic black woman. And I started thinking about iconic um, black women that I know, Diane Carroll, Felicia mm -hmm, Rashad, mm -hmm. Jennifer Lewis, but like some of those things, just tapping into that to yeah. just like flesh out her essence um, of this powerful woman, but also the tender moments about who she is. What do you hope the audience takes away from seeing your production? Yeah, I think just that. I think um, we we know Harriet Tubman as a conductor. We know her as a general. Mm -hmm. We know uh, John Brown referred to her as a man, but rarely mm -hmm. do we get to see her as this beautiful black woman. And, and I think that it is something so uh, important for us to be able to to look at her entire story. Um, we get a, a big, huge novel of Alexander Hamilton. We get to know what he ate for <laughs> breakfast, <laughs> but we don't get that about Harriet Tubman. And we have to kind of create that. And I think that it, it, it puts an onus on us to try to embrace the entirety of, of black people's stories, to embrace the entirety of this woman. She was more than just this courageous woman. She was also a wife. She was a mother. Yeah. She, she did all of these things that we don't get, we don't bring to the forefront. Well, congratulations on the production. It, thank you. It's a whole new perspective. Danielle Lene, thank you for coming in thank today. Thank you guys for having me. Yes, and the play has been so popular that the dates to see it have been extended. You can go to see my General Tubman at the Arden Theater in Old City until March 15th. Yeah, let's